big exhale. One more time, big inhale, big exhale. Thinking about our thoughts. The universe is wide open. Such a blessed time of manifestation. The universe does not judge who is worthy to receive or not. That is a human assumption. We are all worthy of the cornucopia that life has to offer. Prosperity of health, wealth, love, and happiness is the bright birthright gifted to us as we took human form and accepted life lessons. We have to ask with a heartfelt intention that we truly feel worthy to receive it. As the angels, ask the angels to dissolve any cords or blocks to feeling worthy or accepting right now. Many times we ask for things but truly do not feel deserving. The universe cannot bring to us what vibrationally we cannot hold on to. So if it is love that we seek, but we live a life of self-sabotage or mistrust, then we cannot hold that request. If it is finances that we seek, but yet we, are, we have unhealthy relationships with money, greed, or lack, then abundance eludes us. If we are seeking peace, but living a drama-filled life, we are counteracting our requests. We have to create space within us to fully accept the request we are putting out, releasing attachment to the outcome and surrendering to the best outcome for our purpose, path, and journey. And so with that, I offer a two word story mantra for the flow today to be universal law. So let that be, and you can come up with your own, um, if you want to, your own intention, you know, if you want to flow with an intention for your practice today. So maybe it's, you know, manifest happiness. Maybe it's more abundance. Like what is your intention? Is it more gratitude? I like the idea of a mantra of universal law. So it reminds us that our thoughts, exactly what the card says, our thoughts are, are manifesting all the time, right? Our thoughts are manifesting. So on that note, let's come to our mat. So uh, just let me know if for some reason you cannot hear me. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. All right, so starting out, in a tabletop position with your hands spread out on the mat, shoulders are over your wrists, hips are over your knees, and we're gonna take some cat-cow here. So go ahead and drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, and inhale. And then on your exhale, dome the spine, round the back, letting your head fall. And then back to cow, inhaling for cow, Exhale for cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round the spine really, really big. And come back to a tabletop position. Tucking your toes under and then pushing your legs back to a down. That was female professionals in the health and wellness field. In your down dog. Some of them didn't, but they work with folks that have chronic illnesses. And from your down dog, pedal and walk your dog. Feedbacks that I got from our... All right, we're good. Hi, guys. Um, so walk your dog. And maybe you sway your hips side to side. First down dog of your Tuesday, Tuesday morning. So look to the front of your mat, bend your knees, and walk to the front of your mat. Sweep your arms up for an extended mountain pose. Just taking three very simple sun salutations, bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, and think about that universal law, that universal law of attraction. Maybe that's your intention for the day. Our thoughts are manifesting all the time, so what are you thinking? Or maybe you set an intention just for yourself, something you need for today, Something positive you can remember. Breathe in, open your eyes, exhale and forward fold all the way down to the mat. Inhale, hands to your shins, straighten your spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. 
and then lower down, option to lower on your knees for your first low plank, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Up dog, your arms are straight. Cobra, your palms are right next to your ribs, thumbs close to your ribs here. Slight lift for cobra. And then exhale back to down dog. So flowing through again, come to the top of your mat. Sweep those arms up, saluting the sun, rising with the sun. Hands to heart, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Coming, inhaling to your cobra or your up dog. And then exhale back to down dog. We'll do that one more time. Just a simple flow. Come to the top of your mat. Sweep those arms up. Hands to heart. Gratitude for this moment. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And we'll meet in a down dog. Take your time flowing through. In your flow, I like to imagine that you're just letting me go. Anything you're holding on to that you may have woken up with this morning, just let it go. So meeting in a down dog, we're gonna raise our right leg to the sky and bend your right knee, open your hip up. So just let your right foot, pretend it's almost touching your left shoulder and try to keep your chest and your shoulders straight though. With your head hanging down, breathe into this hip opener. Breathing. All right, now bringing that right foot and carrying it slowly if you need to to the top of your mat. Right foot lands in between your hands at the top of your mat. You're in a runner's lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. Option to drop the knee. If you feel shaky this morning, that's okay. I think we're all pretty shaky right now. So inhale, take a slight back bend here in your crescent lunge. So if it feels nice, balancing, bringing yourself back, and then bring your hands back to the mat. Take your left foot to meet the front foot. So now you're in a forward fold. Bring your feet together, sweep your arms up, chair. So now we're in a chair pose. Holding here for two breaths. Just breathe. Big inhale together. Big exhale. Hands to your heart. Inhale. Twist to the right side of your room. Bringing that left elbow if you can to the outside of your left knee. And double checking that your left knee isn't pulling forward. If it is, can you pull your left hip back so both knees are lined up together? And breathe into your twist. All right, now come back to center. Forward fold. We're gonna flow here. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, and flow through, lowering down. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Good job, guys. All right, I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit more, so we're gonna lift the left leg now, and bend the left knee. So lifting that left leg, bend the left knee, open your hip. Maybe you twirl your left foot around. Breathe. All right, now carry that left foot to the front of the mat, in between your hands. Runner's lunge, gathering your balance. Sweep up, crescent lunge. 
option here, back bend, balancing, extending, breathing, stretching, hands to heart center, bring your hands to the mat and bring your right foot to meet your left foot at the top, forward fold, feet together, chair, sweep those arms up, chair pose. Holding here for two breaths. Bring your hands to your heart. Big inhale. Twist it out, bring it out. Exhale to the left side of the room. Double checking those knees. Breathing. All right, coming back to center, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant the hands and let it go. Meeting in down dog. All right, now coming to the top of your mat, you can walk or jump. Whenever we meet at the top of the mat, you have your option. Sweep up, arms up, bringing your hands in a beautiful motion back to your heart. Taking your right leg to the back side of the mat, depending on where your space in your, in your, um, on your mat, if you're using your carpet, just open to a wide leg stance but point both toy, toes to the corners. So both feet are pointed out, bend your knees, goddess pose. So coming into our goddesses, bringing your hands into a goal post, and maybe you close your eyes, maybe you take your thumb to your index finger and literally imagine the power you have inside of you. You are a goddess. Breathing. What was that intention that you set? Remember to carry it through your day. Opening your eyes, bringing your hands to your head. So both hands are behind your head. We're in our goddess pose. We're gonna go to the right. Bring your elbow to your knee on the right for 10. And then on the other side, left. So nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's straighten those legs. Pivot your feet. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale. Squeeze your elbows, shoulder blades together, and lower down for a forward fold. Wide leg forward fold. Letting your head just hang here. Your hamstrings are tight. Maybe you kind of bend your left knee, bend your right knee, and kind of just feel into it, right? Maybe your head actually comes down to the ground today. Mine is definitely not going there. So breathe into your forward, wide leg forward fold. All right, now. From here, coming back up from your forward fold, we're gonna pivot the left foot forward, but keep that right foot 45 degrees, almost like parallel to the back side of your mat. Make a T with your arms, triangle pose. Reach your left hand forward and drop that left hand down to the inside of your shin. If we had blocks, we would have an option to bring our hand to a block. And then gaze over and up your right arm, triangle. Breathe into it. All right, so coming up to warrior two now. So coming out of your triangle, bend that left knee, warrior two. Engaging your core. Left knee is 90 degrees if you can. Shoulder blades are down the back. You're holding it. 
Yoga's challenging because it, we want to move quicker. And side note, if we want to move quicker, you guys just let me know, because I can give us a pretty quick, powerful yoga flow. All that to say, what we're doing here is we're holding these poses, and they're actually strengthening all of your muscles, bringing the breath in. So breathe in, reach forward with your left hand, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Bring that left arm over your head, making sure that left knee is as 90 degrees as possible. Extended side angle, left arm on left side, right arm up over your head. Coming back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands, flip them down to the mat, step back to plank and take a flow. Chaturanga, inhaling up and exhale back. All right, now making your way to the top of your mat, walk or jump, sweep up, extended mountain, hands to heart. Taking the left foot to the back side of the mat. Your feet are facing forward, okay? From here, you're going to open to your star. So we're in star pose, but we're simply gonna fold our star in half, bringing our both hands to our right and left ankle. So just fold your star, coming down. Holding here. Breathing. Now open that star back up, bringing your hands up. And go ahead and open into your T. Pivot your right foot out. All right, triangle. Reaching the right arm forward. Let that right hand come down to your shin or maybe the mat, wherever it's you meet yourself today, lifting the left arm up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. Breathe. All right, now coming up out of your triangle, coming into your warrior two, bending that right knee. Gaze is over your middle finger. Reach forward, flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. This fast song makes me want to move a little faster. All right, bringing your right forearm to your right thigh. Extended side angle. Left arm over your head. Gaze is up on your bicep, or maybe your gaze is straight ahead. All right, back to warrior two. Cartwheel both hands down to the mat, step back to plank and flow. All right, walk your dog, check in with yourself now. We've gotten into our flow here. Always an option when you take a vinyasa, when you flow from plank, to take an extra push up if you want more of a workout or on the flip side you can skip your flow and just go to a down dog so i just want to offer that as something extra so everyone's in a down dog and then from here we're going to come to the top of our mat and sweep up extended mountain pose coming into tree we'll start on our right side so take your right foot either to the ground your shin or maybe you carry it up to your upper thigh and once you gain your balance, hands at heart center, take your branches wherever they feel good today. Maybe you leave them here at your heart. Maybe you extend them up. Maybe they clasp, your elbows clasp together. Maybe your hands come behind and you make a prayer. Prayer hands behind your back, opening your chest. 
wherever it feels good for you today, holding your tree, ready for new life, change of season, positive thoughts, right? Universal law. Our thoughts are always manifesting. So from your tree, one more breath, we're gonna flow into airplane. So from airplane, taking your right leg back, letting your arms come back alongside your body. Palms are facing the ground, balancing. So we went from tree to airplane, soaring through, breathing. Holding for one more breath in your airplane. And dropping the right foot to the back of the mat. Check your alignment, gather your feet, sweep up, crescent, lunge. Holding your crescent lunge. Bringing that right palm now down to the mat. So right palm comes to the mat right next to the left foot. Take your left palm up for a dragging fly twist. Don't forget to breathe. Bringing that palm, left palm down. And guess what's next? Step back to plank. Flow through. Maybe you take an extra push up. And then lower down to your chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Coming to the top of your mat. Tree on the left side. Maybe your balance is easier on the left. Maybe it's a little bit more tricky. Don't judge it. When we do our balancing, if you fall out, I always say it's like life. It's really hard to find balance. So just pop right back up, get right back in. So bringing your hands to your heart. Hi, buddy. Probably upstairs working. You want to do yoga? That's my little guy. All right, so bringing your hands to your heart. Where are your branches going on the left side? Are they going up? Maybe you take your eyes and you close your eyes, trying to counterbalance. Holding your tree with your eyes closed is really tricky. From here, taking your left leg back, soaring through. Your arms are alongside your body now, palms facing the ground, airplane. Holding here in your airplane. One more breath. All right, drop that left leg to the back of the mat. Sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. Feeling the hips open a bit here, releasing any emotions or stress we're holding on to. Dropping the left palm to the ground, raise your right palm up for a dragonfly twist. One more breath. All right, bringing your hands down, step back to plank, and lower down. Or option to go right to down dog if you want to skip your flow. All right, from here we're going to roll from our down dog to a plank position. And we're gonna actually just lower down and stay on our bellies. So slowly lower down, bringing your body down to the mat. You're on your belly. Let your hands and arms come to the side of your body. And then let your head 
one cheek rest on the mat for two breaths. So just relax for a moment here. Coming into locust, we're going to take locust twice. An option after our first locust is to take a bow, bow pose. So in locust, zip your legs together as they're one long leg, right? Inhale, lift your head, chest, arms, and legs together, holding, massaging the organs under the belly, strengthening your spine, inhaling, exhaling, one more time, inhale, exhale, lower down, switch the cheeks that you are resting on the mat, So if you want to take locust for our second round, or you can take bow pose, grabbing on to the feet, whether you hold outside or inside, whatever feels right. So on our inhale, we lift our head, chest, and legs, arms, everything's lifting. Opposite direction of how we're all hunched over our computers, right? Creating space in your chest. Breathe. And slowly lower down out of your locust or bow pose. Opposite cheek to the mat. And bringing your palms right alongside your ribs. Bring yourself up to a child's pose. Knees come to the edge of your mat. Let your bottom come down, child pose. Let your head rest on the mat. All right, now kind of um, listen carefully. So come up a little bit from your child's pose, but leave your knees in a child's pose position. Bring your right leg out straight. And we're going to come into an extended leg child's pose. So take your time. It's a nice stretch on the inside of the thigh there. So then slowly come back down into your child's pose. If you can bring your head to the mat, go up, go for it. And just breathe into this stretch. And then slowly come up and we'll do the same on the left side. So bring that right knee in, right knee's at the edge of your mat and extend the left leg straight out. Slowly lower your bottom down as if you were coming into child pose. Holding for another breath here. And then bringing that left leg in. And then bring ourselves to a plank position. So right from our child's pose, we're going to come into a plank position. All right, so from your plank position, we're going to take a side plank. So let your left hand plant into the mat. Bring your right palm up to the ceiling, holding your side plank. Option to lift the right leg. Balancing here. One more breath. Bring your right foot down, meet your left, and bring your right palm, your back in a plank now. Right palm comes down to the mat, holding your plank. We're gonna do a little bit more to fire up our body, get our muscles strong. The movement's so good for us. So bring your right knee into your right elbow and bring it back. Right knee into your chest, bring it back. 
right knee, left elbow, bring it back, okay? Coming back to a left-handed side plank. You guys got this? But option here now, we're gonna take wild things. Letting your right foot fall down flat on the ground. And then this is wild thing. Letting your left leg be straight. Maybe you take your right arm over your head. Lifting your booty. And after you come into your wild thing, flip back to a plank. Lower down. Chaturanga, and then inhale up to cobra or up dog, and push back to down dog. Option if you're tired to pick a puppy dog. Simply, if you go from into your downward dog, from down dog, just drop your knees, let your head hang. This is called a puppy dog. It's a little less strain on your shoulder. Trying to, so from your down dog, flow into a plank position. In your plank position, we're gonna take a plank on the right side, letting your right hand plant, left hand up. Maybe you lift your left leg. My balance is pretty off today. Holding here for two more breaths. Bringing that left leg down. Bring your left palm to the mat. Now we're gonna flow with that left knee, left elbow. So bring it to your left to left and bring your foot back. Left knee to your chest and back. Left knee, right elbow, got it? Bring it back. All right, one more time. If your shoulder feels tired, Option to bring your right forearm down to the mat, but we're coming into wild thing. Right hand plants on the mat, left hand up, left foot steps on the ground. Wild thing. One more breath. All right, now come back to your plank. And then let's come into a child's pose to so just rest from that series there. Knees at the edge of the mat, or maybe you bring your knees in and just let yourself come down. Let's stay here for three breaths in your child's pose. All right, one more breath. All right, so we're going to slowly come out of your child's pose and make your way to your belly again for crocodile. So for crocodile, so we're really strengthening the spine today. Um, we're gonna bring both hands, stack the left hand on under the right hand. So right hand is on top of your left, at the top of your mat. Let your forehead come down to your hand. Legs are straight. Tops of the feet are touching the mat. And this is a simple pose, but just simply lift your head and your chest and your arms and hold. Legs are staying flat on the mat. Breathe. And bring it down. All right, one more time, crocodile. Inhale, lifting up, making sure you're breathing. All right, now lower down from your crocodile, taking your hands right next to your ribs, tuck your toes under, and Bring your booty back up for your child's pose, making a V shape with your body. Let's check in with our down dog. 
Are your palms and fingers spread out? Fingertips are gripping the mat, making a V. Bringing your tailbone as far up to the sky as you can. Maybe you bend your knees so your hamstrings get some relief. Feet are hip distance apart. Imagine two fists stuck together. That's hip distance. Maybe your heels come down to the mat. Maybe they don't. Letting your head hang. Breathe. All right, now lift the right leg up to the sky and bring that right foot on the outside of your right hand. So both hands are up with your right foot, but your right foot's on the outside. This is lizard. Taking lizard lunge, option to drop your knee in lizard, letting the left top of the foot come to the mat. And some are able to take their forearms all the way down to the mat. Option to come farther into your lizard or keep your hands flat. And just let your hip open here. Maybe you do a little sway side to side. Breathe into your lizard. <clears throat> All right. Now taking your palms forward slightly and letting that right foot come in for a pigeon. So your right knee is on the edge of your mat. Your right foot is right under your left hip. So coming up and then coming down for pigeon. And breathe in your pigeon pose. We take five breaths here, thinking back to that intention. What will you carry through your day today? Is it universal law? Remembering that our thoughts are manifesting all the time. Is it going to be the intention you set for yourself in the beginning of class? It's a powerful time right now with the new moon upon us. So thinking your intentions and getting clear on them sets up the next three weeks until we make it to the full moon. Slowly coming out of your pigeon, release that right leg, bring it up to the sky, bend your knee as we did in the beginning of class, open your hip, reversing what we did in our lizard and pigeon, letting it just open up the opposite direction. Option to flip your dog. If you're familiar with the yoga world, flipping your dog, both feet come flat on the ground. You take your right leg around. So different than wild thing, but then flip your dog back and let's meet everyone in a downward facing dog. <laughs> Lifting that left leg now to the sky, carrying the left foot on the outside of the left hand, lizard. I like to drop my knee for lizard. My hips tend to be really tight. So ease into it. Bring your forearms to the mat if you choose today. Two more breaths in your lizard. And then bringing that left knee down to the mat, your left foot comes underneath your right hip. Pigeon. Inhale, before you lower down, exhale, lowering down. Letting your head come to the mat or your arm or a pillow. You give your pet a hug, your puppy or whoever's right near you if you have a little pet hanging out with you.
Now slowly come out of your pigeon, tucking those right toes under so you can wiggle your left leg and push it back to the sky. So your left heel comes back to the sky, feeling, bend your left knee, open your hip here. Shoulders are straight, not sideways, you can keep them straight. Lift that knee, squeeze that booty, open the head, breathe. Option to flip your dog if you did that on the other side, bringing your left and right foot flat to the ground. Strengthening your shoulders, coming back around. Now, Drop your left foot, you're in a downward facing dog. Come to the top of your mat. Jump or walk. Sweep your hands up. Right where we started, hands at heart center. Bring your booty back. Chair pose. So option to bring your arms up, option to leave your hands at your heart. And we'll do one last twist before we take a Shavasana. So then bringing your right arm, open your right and left arm. So now you're twisting and your arms are open, but you're in a chair seat. Maybe you sink your seat a little deeper. Breathe into your twist here. Now bringing both hands up, back, reaching both hands forward, reaching for the ceiling. Drop the left arm behind you. Extend the right arm forward. Breathe. All right, now coming back forward. After that last leg burn, slowly lower your booty down to the mat. Coming to the mat. And just release. Let yourself just lie flat. Getting ready for a short Shavasana before you really get into your day today. Let yourself calm down and just relax. Flat on the mat. And I'm just going to read the angel card that was for today. And it's all about, ironically, universal law. So I was sharing with the beginning of class that under the new moon, which is tonight in Aries, it's a time to set your intentions. The energy is amplified during this time. You might find you have a little more clarity and more willingness to open up. So I drew an angel card at random today and it was universal law. Don't underestimate the power of your thoughts. The universe is wide open. Such a blessed time of manifestation. The universe does not judge who is worthy to receive or not. That is a human assumption. We are all worthy of the cornucopia that life has to offer. Prosperity of health, wealth, love, and happiness is the birthright gifted to us as we took human form and accepted life lessons. We have to ask with a heartfelt intention that we truly feel worthy to receive it. Ask the angels to dissolve any cords or blocks to feeling worthy or accepting. Many times we ask for things but truly do not feel deserving. The universe cannot bring to us what vibrationally we cannot hold on to. So if it is love that we seek, but we live a life of self-sabotage or mistrust, then we cannot hold that request. If it is finances that we seek, but we have an unhealthy relationship with money, greed, or lack, then abundance eludes us. If we are seeking peace but live a drama-filled life in our minds, we are counteracting our request. We have to create space within us to fully accept the request we are putting out, releasing attachment to the outcome and surrendering 
to the best outcome for your purpose, path, and journey. Universal law. So just for a moment, we'll just do a really short Shavasana here, stay, let that, let that sit with you and just relax, taking a few breaths, enjoying this moment before we get deep into our day. Just wiggling now your fingers and your toes and coming back to your space. Bringing your knees into your chest and giving yourself a big hug for moving your body today. Saying thank you for taking this time. I know I'm grateful. Rolling to the right side and coming up to a seated position. And once you're in your seated position, bring your hands together and bring your thumb to your third eye, which is in between your eyebrows. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Your third eye chakra is responsible for your intuition. May you trust your intuition right now, letting yourself set intentions for what the future could be. How do you want it to unfold? Trust your intuition, go for it. The light within me honors and greets the light within all of you. Namaste. Yay! Good job, guys. That was so nice. Some of the music, I was like, oh, this is a little too fast. But I hope you guys feel good. I hope you take some time to journal, maybe, or it's a good day for it. So, how's everyone doing? Is everyone okay? Yeah. Any, um, any special requests for, um, you know, if you have requests, you can send me a message. Like, if you're like, I really want it to be a, a more fast flow or even a more gentle flow. Um, I always love feedback. So you guys are welcome to it. And tomorrow's Wednesday. So um, a friend of mine that I did the yoga teacher training with, she's really, really a beautiful person. She's going to teach tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Her name's Raven. And um, she brings a really, it's nice to have different instructors, you know, different voices and flows. So she's teaching tomorrow, but then I'll be back on Thursday. I'll be there at class though, for sure. Yeah. So, um, so I'm sending you guys love. Thank you so much. You guys want to, anybody want to say anything? Or are you guys all good to go? We're, and this is like a nice chat space for all of us too, you know, like, isn't virtual different? I feel like it's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so weird, but everyone's like getting more used to it. So, um, all right. Well, universal law, remember your thoughts are manifesting. Mm -hmm. Get after it today, all right? Have a good day, you guys. You too, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you for hopping on. Thank you. Bye. Michelle in the house.